Okay, horror fans, today we're diving into a killer idea. Really, it's been kind of been floating around the Dead by Daylight community for quite a while now. What if Jason Voorhees finally made his way to Dead by Daylight? I mean, come on, we've already got Freddy, Michael, Ghostface, but no Jason? Let's talk about how that could change and what it would look like and how realistic it actually is. So let's get into it. If Jason joins the Dead by Daylight roster, you know he's bringing some killer perks. I'm thinking of something along the lines of Relentless Pursuer. This perk would allow Jason to lock onto a survivor's Aurora after they've been injured, making him almost impossible to shake off. Then there's Unstoppable Rage, where Jason gains increased movement speed after breaking a pallet or wall, making it feel like no obstacle can stop him. Because let's be honest, nothing ever has. Finally, how about Drowned in Silence? After hooking a survivor, all generators regress faster, and survivors near Jason suffer from the oblivious status effect for a short period. It's all about creating that relentless, looming dread that Jason brings in every film. And then there's the map, Camp Crystal Lake. This map would be an absolute classic. With this dense forest, foggy lake, and iconic cabins, imagine running through the woods with Jason stalking behind the lake in the distance. And you duck into a cabin praying he doesn't find you. There could be an abandoned car to evoke that classic broken down car in the middle of nowhere vibe along with hidden trails, docks, and even a boat that could be used as part of the escape strategy. Maybe instead of escaping out of the hatch, the boat could be the hatch. Just an idea. Of course, we can't have Jason without Tommy Jarvis. He's the ultimate survivor from the Friday 13th franchise, and his perks would match that. Think Fearless Fighter. Tommy has a higher chance to stun the killer when using a flashlight or a pallet. He could also have a last stand where after being unhooked, he temporarily gains a buff to generator repair speed and healing, reflecting that never say die attitude he always brings. And let's throw in Jason's nemesis. When Jason is a killer, Tommy gains an increased luck boost in Aurora reading capabilities, turning him into Jason's ultimate rival. But now before we get too excited, let's talk about the elephant in the room right issues. As many of you know, the rights to Jason are very complicated. Victor Miller, the original writer of Friday 13th, owns the U.S. rights to the original film, while Sean Cunningham's Horror Inc. controls the rights to the adult version of Jason and the broader franchise. For Dead by Daylight to bring Jason in, they have to work out a deal between these two rights holders. It's not impossible, but it's definitely tricky. We've seen behavior pull off licensing miracles before. Freddy Cougar, anyone? but this one might take some extra work. Still, with all the hype for Jason, and the fact that the franchise's rights issues are slowly untangling, it's not completely out of the question. So what do you think? Would Jason be the ultimate killer in Dead by Daylight? Or is the rights battle just too much of a hurdle? Let me know in the comments what perks do you think he should have, and would Tommy Jarvis be your go-to survivor? Let's hear some theories. If you enjoyed this video, just give it a like. Thank you guys for watching, and see you in the next video.